For final assembly, place the corresponding O-ring into the Zarco ring with groove. Before final assembly of the connection, all components must be checked for damage and contamination. Lubricate the threads of the securing screws in order to reduce assembly stresses. Connect the tube connections alignment free with the pre-assembled Zarco rings and tighten the securing screws by hand. Make certain that the tubes are stress free and aligned to each other. The securing screws can now be evenly cross tightened by hand. This step in the procedure is made a number of times. Remember, do not use a pneumatic screwdriver or anything similar. In the final assembly sequence, all four screws are cross-tightened. In doing this, you must make certain that the permitted tension torque for the screws is not exceeded. Information about this can be found in a table in the assembly instructions. Parallelism of the components must be checked after final assembly. To do this, measure the distance of the flange plates to each other at three points, offset by 120 degrees. If the non-parallelism is greater than one millimeter, then a correction is to be carried out by doing a post-assembly routine. After initial assembly, the distance between the Zarco ring and the flange plate should be about three millimeters. Should the settings make it necessary to re-tighten, then the flange plate can be shifted up to one millimeter in front of the Zarco ring. In doing this, observe the parallelism of the connection 